Hi guys, Kian here, and I've finished my bird journal. Dum dum dum, isn't it super pretty? We have a pretty peacock, and flowers, and pearls, and lace, and it's just it's got all the stuff. And um, the name of it is Birds in the Flower Garden. Dum dum, and this one, the name of this uh, journal was suggested by Judy. I got a few suggestions for names, so I wrote them all down and put them in a hat, and that's the name we're going with. So Birds in the Flower Garden, which is very apt because it is very much like Birds in a Flower Garden. So here's the back. I put this like pretty lace piece on the back, and the spine has like this yellow lace on it, and it's tied with this pretty turquoise um, sorry silk. So here it is. Here's our first page. It is a soft cover, so it's not a hard cover, it's a soft cover. Um, ta-da! And here's our first page. We have this cute little bird, um, with the white flowers, right? So we have this little bird. It's kind of a, um, a notepad. It's just got, like, paper to write notes. It has this journaling card right that talks about nesting birds it's like a poem or something on this pretty botanical page right and i have it like this so that i just tuck i just leave the front page untucked so that he sticks out like that and he's super cute isn't he okay so here we go we've got this we have another botanical page here and then here we have this envelope it opens like this ta-da and it has a notebook inside. See? Using another botanical book page. Lots of flowers, lots of um, botanical book pages in this journal. Here we have the hummingbird page. Right? It's also tied with a ribbon on the backdrop of a, a vintage botanical book page. He opens up and it's kind of like a notebook um, on the page right it's like a notebook on the page we have little pockets that have these little journaling cards backed with um, handmade paper pretty and lots of again lots of journaling space to write a whole little notebook and on the back we have another journaling card this time backed with some of my dyed papers so there's that I don't think there is, no, it's just like a notebook, I was going to say, because it looks like it was made out of an envelope. It could probably be trimmed and there could be like a secret, maybe, pocket. I don't know. It depends on how I did all of this. <laughs> a homemade piece of paper with a butterfly on it and this pretty vintage trim. Um, yes. More homemade paper, just a little cluster I glued. Lots of journaling space. Right, some vintage music paper. Just laces and things. Lots of journaling. Here we have this, like old vintage um, calendar page from 1974. And it's got a pocket on it with just some journaling cards. And this pocket was made using um, one of the little bags that uh, Taylor Made Journal sells her stamps in. It's gorgeous, so I put that on there. Here we have this page with this notebook. It's beautiful heron, right? It's a whole notebook with the pink dyed papers that I do. And we have a little greeting card flip on the inside cover. And it has a little pocket with another little envelope that has little ephemera surprises inside, right? Some stickers and this and that. So there's that. There's the back of that. So there's that page. Here's this page with a pretty tag and lots of poppies. This bird is curiously checking out these poppies. <laughs> This pretty page I love. Um, another one of those pockets, right? I even glued one of her, um, this is one of her wax seals. I glued it onto the pocket. More just little journaling cards, right? On this vintage calendar page, see? With the pretty birds. Lots of journaling, right? 
just little decorations here and there dotted throughout, but not on every page. Many pages are blank. Some homemade papers, just different papers. Um, some altered playing cards that I just backed with coffee dyed paper so you could write on them. So there's this little page. Here's this page I just collaged. Um, and then that's the end of that signature. Here in the very middle, we have this little notebook that's attached. It uh, ties with this ribbon, and it's just a blank notebook with lots of different papers, right? Receipt, just a lot of different papers. And then we come to the last signature. So we have this page. Isn't that so pretty? I love that. It's got this lace kind of doily piece that I made into a pocket. It's got an old United States Army vintage postcard. It has this cool little piece of ephemera that you can write on. And this piece of like stationery. Right, so there's that. And then on the next page, we have this big tag. It's a fabric tag. This is one of the tags I made during like the challenges we did, the weekly prompts we were doing. So there's that one. With the sunflower seeds, it's, I dyed the back of it. It's all fabric. And this was hand stitched, so this is a little bit of hand stitching on there. Just, you know, a pretty little fabric tag with a butterfly. Here we have this, just um, to write on, some little journaling piece. Here's this. This is attached by a magnet, but it's like a concertina kind of notebook thing. See, so it unhooks and then it opens like this. Look at that. And then there's little pages too. Right, and that folds back up like that. Ta-da! We have a music page, lots more journaling. This page here, it has this journaling card and this tag and then this little vellum pocket that has some little bits of ephemera in it. Ta-da! So there's that. That page. It's got little flowers and stuff on it. Another piece of handmade paper and just a bunch of little like journaling pages. A cluster. This one was made by Jania and sent to me in a happy mail. Super pretty, huh? Super pretty. This cluster was made by Jean, I think. Maybe. Sydney, maybe. Oh, I can't remember. Forgive me. Someone sent me this. <laughs> uh, it was Jean or Sydney or um, I think it was one of the, well, either one of those two people. <laughs> Another green page, coffee dyed page. Here we have... Um, one of these Edith Holden pages, and then this is a flippy book. It's a flippy book. See, it flips open like this, and you can write in it, and then it flips open again, and you can write in it, or put pictures, or whatever, right? And then also on the back, you can write on it. A little flippy book. And then I backed that with some coffee dyed paper, and here we have a little pocket with like some ephemera, and then a nest. We have this page. It has tags in it, right? These pretty like decoupage tags. This journaling card. This page that I like stamped up and stuff. The earth laughs in flowers. <laughs> this page, this flips open to write in. Um, we're journaling here. Here we have like a little Edith Holden postcard pocket with a piece of writing paper inside, of like handmade paper. This page with pretty flowers and stuff. This just a little piece here that you can write on. And then back to our journaling, right? So lots of journaling, different pages. And then we have this. So this I stapled to the page. They're like little tearaway. These little jars are like tearaways. I thought that was super cute. Here's the um, I'm just another little flip out on that page. Here we have a pocket page, right, with some decoupage um, leftovers, 
This is Edith Holden. This is from a botanical book page and a little pocket that I made. And here is a journaling card with lots of little texture and stuff. So there's that pretty good size one. And our last page, which is just this little pocket and it has this that opens for journaling. So yay! My birds in the flower garden journal. <laughs> anyway, it will be listed. I shall have a link in the description below and everything. I loved making this journal. I started making this journal during, um, during the uh, little vacation that me and my husband had on our uh, anniversary. So... <laughs> That's how this got started. Anyway, I had lots of fun. I will see you guys later. 